We want to introduce these guys slowly and calmly into water. Mm -hmm. So I meet a lot of pet owners who have water-loving dogs, mm -hmm. and their dog has just been traumatically introduced to water, whether that's been them getting the dog thrown in the water right, or right. throwing a toy into a lake. Right. Not doing it properly. Exactly, and, properly, and having right. that dog just run into the lake and, oh, wow, I'm in water, what's yeah. happening? Boom. You know, Freaks. exactly. It, it's so scary for them. Yeah. And so make sure the first experience is always just very pleasant, right. very calm, and very secure for yes, your dog. Yes, of course. So of I've course. got a couple of great tips mm. if you want to introduce your dog to swimming, and, and we're going to just go over these. I have some really? great products here, yeah? So this is doggy sunscreen. So you want to make sure there's no zinc oxide. Make sure it's doggy approved. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that it's labeled for dogs. Check with your vet to make sure. And a lot of dogs will have lighter uh, skin tones, or right. they'll have white hair, or like you know, this one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or or they'll sunbathe with their belly. And so you yeah. really, if you guys notice that your dog has areas where there's a little bit less fur or lighter fur, mm -hmm. you can apply the sunscreen. Right so on. we're gonna take this. Oh, yeah. And sugar, pardonnez-moi here. Hi, yeah. And so you can <laughs> apply it just to the bridge of the nose. She says, Dr. Tina. All right, and then just a little to her little lips here. There we go. <laughs> She's just like, you're touching my face. I know, I know, we just met. Yeah, Jeez. Yeah. All right, get personal. Give me personal. And a little to the ears, <laughs> and voila, there's, there's great protection there. The second thing I want to talk about is flotation gear. Right. So this is really oh, yeah. important, oh, and right we on. actually, yeah, we have this handy dandy flotation Let's try it device. On. You want to of course, give I'll it a go it. here? Of course. And so, yeah, so flotation devices are really important for our pets. Hey, hey, um, and we want to make sure they fit properly. Here, These are great for lakes or pools. Right. Um, and we just want to make sure that it fits snugly and securely because it can actually drag them down if it's not the right fit. And also, it keeps them calm and secure. And you really want to apply these flotation devices on, especially your little guys um, and your ones that are first starting out. Anytime <laughs> you know you're you're unsure of how they're going to be in the water, you want to you want to use one of these guys. Give them a good rinse afterwards, and also rinse their ears. Ears can get really infected a lot of yeah. times when dogs get exposed to water um, at the beach or at home. So you want to apply an ear cleaner, um, certainly a veterinary formulated one, and just give them a good clean and they're good to go right yeah. out of the water. Yeah, see that, Phil? You got tips. Thank you so much. I actually have tips myself oh, if you don't mind me sharing. please, go right so, ahead. So as you know, over the years I've taught many dogs and introduced them to water. And with these tips, I've learned that it helps introducing them to water much easier and okay. much more efficient. So step Fantastic. one, I always have a leash on the dog. And that's just because my dad has always taught me that. With the leash, you have guidance and control of the brain. So you can always have the dog and tell him what you want to do and direct him where you want to go. I love that. Step two, the human goes in first. So it, they acknowledge that the human is safe and they are very familiar with what the human is doing. And step three, once you have the dog in the water, uh, with the leash, you can give the guidance and keep the head above the water Great. and have your okay. hand Perfect. under the stomach yep. to give support. Just like humans, we need guidance and support. So with that, as a great technique. And then step four, repetition and follow through is the biggest key.